Hi y'all, it's me. I have a haul. It's quite a bit. I um actually was doing the 14 days of February because Valentine's my favorite holiday and I did it for my birthday, so why not do it for my favorite holiday? But I never got a chance to film anything, so I'm just going to show it all in one video right now. So um, first off is Dollar Tree. I didn't get a whole lot, but I did find this stamp set, which I hadn't picked up. I really just like that B. I think he's so pretty. But anyway, picked that one up. I picked up some of these um, bags, uh, ribbon. They have their Easter ribbon. So I just got this blue colored one. And then this one, which is really cute. It's got sparkles and bunnies and eggs, and it's super cute. So I picked that one up. Um, from the Crafters Square, they had these two containers of yarn. I like that the colors are variegated, and I just like having smaller ones around, so when I need a quick piece of yarn, I don't have to dig through my big skeins and all that. I picked up this bucket. Um, I just thought it was so cute. It looks so vintage -y to me for some reason, so I want to use that in my decor or somewhere. And I got one more thing from Dollar Tree. Hold on, I'm going to move this. I have to show these. They're so pretty. Um, they actually make a mess, so you need to use either a spray sealer or something like that to stop them from glittering all over. But look at how beautiful these are. They were in the spring stuff at Dollar Tree, and they also had it in purple, but I'm not a purple girl, so I didn't get purple. But I thought they'd be cute in backgrounds of embellishments and things like that or in your home decor however you want to use them but I had to grab those when I saw them they were just so pretty then to the 99 cents only store um I picked up some window clings which are right here because um I use those in my bathroom on the shower doors I use them on my mirrors when I decorate for holidays and you can also use them like this in one of your planners. Just um, laminate it and put it in your planner. So it's a cute way to use them. Um, so you want to make sure the ones you get for your planners are small enough that they will fit into your planner. Uh, picked up these eggs because I like to give a gift at my Easter table or any table that I decorate for holiday. I like to leave a gift. and. I thought these were cute because they stand, um, because of this base, they can stand individually. So I picked those up, and I picked up this. Now, okay, this was not $0.99 cents only. It was $9.99, um, but I wanted to try one. My friend Candy was telling me this is a good thing to use when filming, and I have it on right now. I don't know how great it is, but you can kind of see the reflection right here. I'm not sure how to use it yet, so I need to practice. I just plugged it in right now to use it, but I figured I'm going to try it. So I'll let you guys know how that turns out. And then I picked up these banners to hang on uh, up at, you know, for Easter. I just thought that little bunny was adorable. And I've been buying Easter stuff all along trying to you know, acquire what I need to decorate this year. So that was from Dollar Tree, or 99 only. Um, I'm going to jump to, let's do Walmart. Walmart is quick because there's not much. I got some of these alphabet beads because they still had them, and it took them a long time to get them, but at least they still had them, and they're really cute. So um, I picked up three ribbons right there, and I picked up these from the... Um, well, these, I, I showed this a long time ago because I bought several and I just bought this one, but it's this swan. It's so beautiful. It's in their sewing section. And while I was there, I found the bunny and it's just so cute. I had to, excuse me, I had to grab the bunny too. Um, in their, in that section where the jewelry is, they have these 98 cent bead charms or whatever you want to call them. And I'm not... A fan of the color per se but I fell in love with this little deer and this bunny um, they have a little squirrel and you can spray paint these or you can dip them in um, uh, embossing powder and enamel them so that they're a different color so I'm not worried about the color but I thought for a buck it's a great deal and then I uh, picked up in their Easter section at Walmart, they're starting to put out some stuff. They had these, but they only had one each of these two designs. I love the heart one. And then this one has trucks and eggs and then that plaid there. Really cute. So that's from Walmart. 
And then from, let's go to Target. <clears throat> I picked up some of their erasers. They're so cute. They call them, what do they call them? Frogs and chicks, but I don't know. That doesn't look like a frog to me. It looks like a bear. This little thing right here. <laughs> anyway, I thought they were cute, so I picked them up. Or that might have been a chick. Hell, I don't know. Anyway, it does not look like a frog. It looks like a bear. <laughs> so anyhow, I got that. Okay, my targets, they never did Valentine's Day at all. They skipped right over it onto Easter. So I grabbed these carrots. I thought they'd be cute for my um, snack station. I picked up these cute little bunny plates for a buck. And then the cups that match. They're so cute. So I got the cups. And then I picked up these um, <clears throat> measuring spoons. They're bunny ears, but they were three bucks. And then I picked up this bunny. And he was three bucks also, but I liked him. So I went ahead and got him. So that was Target. And then, okay, now we're moving to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby, I picked up one of these sprays because I thought it was so beautiful. I picked up some of these little bunnies. All the Easter was 40% off. So I got some of those. In that same section of Easter, I found these little flowers, which I thought were so cute and pretty colors. And they're like, um, they're hard, like enamel or acrylic. I don't know what you call that stuff. Um, I saw this on Jen. So, video and look Jen I got one too it's so cute I thought that was the funniest thing ever it's a Tim Holtz and it was on clearance so I picked that up I picked up some screws uh, that I needed I picked up these bunnies because I thought they were just cute and then these were on clearance and they were two um, sets of alphabets they're kind of epoxy sort of so I got silver and gold and they were $1.24 and then my favorite find was $2 and $2 right here and 49 cents from $24.99 and it's this beautiful little pillow I know you can't see her all but she's got tassels <clears throat> I just love I just love this let me see if I can lift it up a little bit maybe you can without seeing my I tripod well, not really. She's she's big. <laughs> it's a big pillow, but I loved it for two bucks. I thought, yep, I'm taking her home. So I got that. <clears throat> that was it from Hobby Lobby. Then I move that over and continue because there's more. Uh, I went to Joanne's. Um, I went there for something in particular, but they didn't have it, so. Of course, I ended up with something else. They had their doorbusters, and all their paper pads were $10. And these regular run $25, so I was happy to pay $10 for this one. I've been on, I had been on the fence about buying this one, but I thought, you know what, I'm just going to get it because like, I'm not crazy about the flamingos at all, but I can overlook them. <laughs> um, they also had these on sale for 40% off, so I just thought they were super cute. And then these were on clearance from Valentine's Day, 70% off. I know I'm not using this ring light properly. Because uh, I could see everything's in shadow almost. Um, these were 40% off. So they're little chicks and bunnies, eggs, and flowers. I thought they were super cute. I picked up um, some of their 10 for $2 paper. I just got this polka dot one. And I had never seen this one <clears throat> before which is coordinations as well, but it's a lined notebook kind of paper. So I thought it was super cute. So I got those. That was that from Joanne's. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then, oh, sorry, there's more. Um, I went to Tuesday morning. That's been a big zilch lately. They did have this pad, and I know it's ancient. It's like from 2012, I think. Um, it was $6.99. It's the Die Cuts with a View Primrose collection, but I have always liked this collection. It's very shabby. It's very eclectic looking and beautiful. So I just figured I'd pick it up since it was there. And then the other thing I picked up at 
Tuesday morning was the Maggie Holmes book. I got the old ones, but I didn't have the one with this. the houses on front, so I got a couple of those from Tuesday morning. Then, let's see, let me move this out of the way. Oh, sorry, y'all. Um, like I said, I was planning on doing 14 days, and it just didn't happen that way. Um, I ordered this from Scrap Kevin, and that's Erin, and she was kind enough to gift me the blue one as a gift, and the rest were part of my order. And she makes uh, beautiful seam binding. You guys, if you don't know her, check her out, because they're really beautiful. Her packaging, look how pretty her envelope was that she mailed in. Isn't that pretty? So anyway, that's from her. From just eBay. I picked up this book. I've been wanting to get it. I I had a copy before and I lost it or gave it away or something. So it's just um, to make little pretty things for your, your crafting experiences. So I love that. Um, now we're on to... <laughs> Cherry on top. How, how far am I? How am I doing? Okay. Um, cherry, well, let's do, yeah, cherry on top. So I picked up the stamp set that goes with the Made With Love Doodlebug collection. And yes, no, I'm not a big doodlebug lover. However, after seeing Natalie's video of her little cookbook, I was just like, ah, <laughs> I have to get that collection. So I started at cherry on top. I also got, um, this was a freebie. They give you a roll of tape with your order. I picked up some photo corners in gold and in silver. And I also picked up from them, I wasn't able to get everything from the, the Made of Love. I was able to get some stuff, but not everything. So hang on one minute. Sorry, I'm trying to open up this little package because I stuck it all in here not to lose it. So I did get the um, the paper that goes with the collection and I got that sticker sheet right there because it's just cute. And you know I'm working on a cookbook so I figured what the heck. Um, these are adorable. Oops. The little epoxy. told you I'm not using that light properly. Um, these, the little epoxy appliances. I got the ephemera pack, which I love. It's so cute, and I love that it has this cabinet and everything. I bought the other ephemera pack from them, which are mostly words and sayings. Um, I got the milk and cookies. Oops, milk and cookies. And the sugar and the flour. The eggs are so cute. Those eggs are so adorable. And then I got the mixers mixing things so that was from cherry on top and then i picked up the remainder at scrapbook.com because they had the rest of what i wanted so from scrapbook.com i picked up the 12 by 12 paper pack to go with this collection if y'all haven't seen it you have to see it and look at natalie's cookbook i'll put a link down below so you could see it it's adorable um i picked up the six by six and I picked up two of the recipe card booklets. Um, as I said, I'm going to be working on a recipe books. And well, this is opened incorrectly. But anyway, it's all filled with recipe cards. They're so cute. So I got two of those. And then last but not least from scrapbook.com, I picked up the new Tim Holtz oxide color. Well, it's oxide and distress ink. It's called Kitsch Flamingo. And if you love pink, oh my gosh, is this beautiful. So I picked up the inker, the refill, and a paint dabber. Now, <clears throat> just so you know, this gives you a chalk-like finish, the oxide, but the Distress Ink, it's more of an ink look. So just so you know, between the two. And now finally, to round off my purchases. These are two items I don't normally would normally get because I'm not trying to get into Ray Dunn or anything like that or make, you know, that my new hobby. But there have been two pieces that I wanted, one of them for a long time, and I just wanted a pink one, so it was a little harder to find. But I wanted this little jar that says Create. 
Ray Dunn. So I found one finally that it was reasonably priced. So I went ahead and picked that up. So yay for that. I finally got that. I won't be looking for it anymore. And then the other thing I had to have the minute I saw one, somebody posted one on Instagram, like before <clears throat> Armin showed hers, someone else had shown one on Instagram and it was a white one. And I said, I need it in pink. And I found it in pink. Yay. It's a Ray Dunn bunny mug. And it's so cute. And the person who I bought it from on eBay did a really nice job of packing it for me and sending it to me. But super, super cute. So this is like a lid to warm your coffee. Um, the bunny head. But oh, so cute. So anyway, that's all I got. That's it. Yay, I'm done. And now I can get a, put all of it away. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope you have been doing well. Have a nice day. And I'll talk to you soon. Till next time, do what makes you happy. Bye for now.